Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. We're doing something a little different this time. Jake and I, Jake, come on in here. Hey. So Jake and I are in his grandparents' apartment, which is currently unoccupied, and we are going to be spending the next 72 hours here. Mm -hmm. And our goal in that time is to write an entire feature length screenplay. We've been working on this thing for about a little over a year, just like outlining it and planning it. Yeah. And we haven't really begun like scripting it. And um, it's hard to find time to do that because we're always working on the smaller videos. So what we're gonna do is just lock ourselves in this apartment and hopefully crank out an entire first draft. First draft. Regardless of whether it's bad or it's good, it will be finished. It will probably be bad. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, but we will have about 100 pages done. Hopefully. Ugh. Okay, so we're back from grocery shopping where we've stocked up on everything we need for the weekend. Like cereal, and milk, and ham, and more ham, and baguettes, pasta, a two pound bag of organic sugar, sourdough bread, eggs, bagels, coffee, Swiss cheese, salad, and baked cheddar. We just thought get out. And this weekend you should get out of your house <laughs> and see it because it's great. It's really good. It will have been out for like five days by the time this, you see this video, so I hope you saw it. We're writing a horror movie, and uh, that is our plan. We're, yes. We've got this plan for writing a horror movie, and which is why we wanted to go see a horror movie, uh, to see if it might, you know, bring about some inspiration. Yeah, we and, need a little bit of that like horror voodoo magic. Yeah, just get us in the mindset. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, and this actually gave me uh, some, uh, I wouldn't say like gave me new ideas, but um, made me think about a couple things in like terms of like structuring a horror movie. Obviously so, we're not gonna say any of uh, the plot details at all about our movie because we don't want any of you people watching this stealing our idea. Yeah. Our plan for the day is we've taken the first act and we've divided it in half. As you and, can see. And um, Jake will write the first half, I will write the second half. So our aim is about 30 pages total, 15 mm -hmm. each. Also, to the people on Instagram who think that it's gonna smell really bad in here at the end of this weekend, there is a shower. Who said that on Instagram? Some, a person. That's so rude. People have been questioning our uh, our ability to do this. What kind of and our ability to be hygienic? Suck at Instagram. So Jake was really smart, and he brought a special shirt just for this. Jake, show him what you got. Houseu shirt. He's got the Houseu shirt available at the Criterion Collection store. Shout out to the Criterion Collection. I feel like because you've got that shirt, we're gonna write a great script. Yeah, and there will probably be a cat that pukes blood on one of the characters. We're gonna hit okay. the Stephen King um, r rule. I'm about t 1,200 words in. He's He averages oh, really? 2,000 a day. Jake, how many pages you got? I'm about seven pages in. Good yeah, God! Oh, that's pages. so many. I, I'm on page four. I'm just excited to get through this party scene. I can Because imagine. it's just... I was not everyone there. And, uh, and, and, and my stuff, obviously, you can see from here. It gets so much easier, as, as it's so linear, as soon as I leave the party scene. You so. have a very fun, um, like, suspense sequence that you get to work on. I think I, I, get, a, I get to write a death. You do get to write a death. I don't get to write a death. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Maybe, Kind of. Yeah. But I get, like, a proper kill. A kill. A yeah. kill. You're on, what, what, what page? 12? Page 12. On page 7? I, I will be lagging behind Jake for this entire weekend because that's just how we write. I am slow. But um, all in all, I think uh, I feel pretty solid about the progress. Do, yeah, I feel great. I'm actually looking forward to getting back to it already. I mean, I know we're just taking like a 20 minute, half hour lunch break, but like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like still ready to go. Cool, and the, the house who shirt is working? The house who shirt is working like a charm. Okay, it's 514 and I am 16 pages into, into my section. And uh, I've got two, I have two note cards left, like, you have note cards for all the scenes, and I've got two left. For my part, Jake has finished his, he wrote 20 pages. I'm gonna pace around the apartment for about 15 minutes and try to figure out exactly what to do for the next one. 
and um, and yeah, then hopefully like crank this out within the next hour or so. I did it. Yes, I'm done. Yes, that's uh, 18 pages, and officially this is the end of Act One. End of Act One. 18 pages, 20 pages, so we're a total of 38 pages. In 30. The script now. We got 38 pages in one day. In one day. That's uh, that's pretty good. Don't ask us if the pages are good. <laughs> uh, the important thing is they're pages. Yes. They're pages and there are words. And exactly. there are scene directions. Yes. And there are characters and the characters have dialogue. I feel like Act 2 is going to be bigger than we anticipate. I feel similarly. Okay, it's Saturday. Day 2 where we write Act 2. We've got Act 2 generally figured out. There are details that we don't, we don't have. And uh, so we can't use the same method uh, to write it. We can't just split it in half. We're gonna basically each like do like a scene at a time, but work our way through. Yeah. And uh, cause we, we, there are details we still have to figure out. Cheers. It's noon, so time for pot of coffee number three. How many pages do you have? Um, so right now we are at 52. Did we each write seven pages? It looks like it, yeah. We still got a ways to go. And, uh, I have a stomach ache from coffee. Like, I, I can't see a reason for me to go to the police station, because there's a crime scene, she just saw something. Jake, how's it going? It's going okay. I'm feeling decent. I'm a little tired. We are now at 68, I believe. So we've done another 30 pages. We have so maybe more story mm -hmm. than, uh, than we realized. We did finally get to our first big kill. Yes, and it was very fun to write. Jake got to write the first big kill. That sounds like also a good title for like a, uh, a crime book. The like first the first big, big kill. kill. <laughs> big news that we just realized. We mentioned we were at 68 pages right now. That is just about the length that technically qualifies as a feature length film now. So we've hit feature length film status. So basically we could write like a really garbage ending right now. Like, and then they all went out for dinner and, uh, and decided to forget about what happened. Mm -hmm. And we would have a feature length script. Yeah, we would have a feature length script. <sighs> Tempting. There's a thunderstorm outside right now, and it's really wet and gross, and there's lightning. I kinda wanna be outside, even though the weather's gross. I have a sandwich, I have my dinner, I have a glass of whiskey, and several bottles more where that came from. I'm ready to finish uh, these next, like, three scenes. Jesus Christ. So Jake, you're done with your writing for the day? I think so. I had a beer, which I was hoping would sort of, like, help lower inhibitions and create more creative energy, but instead it just made me sleepy. I finished the, my last batch of pages and uh, I'm just, I'm in a confused state. For writing horror movies, I could not recommend highly enough the, uh, the soundtracks of John Carpenter. His, uh, his two recent albums, Lost Themes 1 and 2, great. I'm currently listening to the Halloween 3 soundtrack. Just the perfect, the perfect 80s synth horror music for writing this kind of stuff. I'm on the last scene. It's 11.59, but I'm watching YouTube videos instead of writing. I'm so sick of writing. Done. Oh, finally, it's 12.30 a.m. Okay, I've added my pages to what Jake did, and we have, after two days, 95 pages of the script written. So, that's a lot. It's day three of three. Uh, we have 95 pages written. 95 pages written. Which is, which is a lot. We wrote 57 pages yesterday. And uh, we, we predict that this third act will be shorter 
and easier. We each crashed right after we finished our respective sections. Um, we haven't read what we wrote. So now we're gonna, we're gonna read this thing and ho hopefully it's okay. You read Act 2? Read Act 2. And uh, what, what do you think? Better than I thought leaving it last night, considering how tired I was. Nothing that can't be like adjusted, tweaked, as I would have thought. So we're good, I think, for Act 2. And ready to work on Act 3. We're gonna try and just write off of one computer this time. So we'll be talking it out, essentially. Exactly, our big yeah. finale. This morning, when talking about this, came up with a, an, uh, another, another good kill. We did, I forgot about that. Yeah, we got a, a kill for um, uh, another character. That we? Uh, na we, we can say it. Name's his, Toby. His name's Toby. Toby's gonna die. No, I don't think anybody should bring a gun, um, but maybe like somebody brings like a bat, like a baseball bat. We just got to 100 pages. One, zero, zero, yay! And it is currently 12.30. Jake brought the house shirt back for the home stretch. I didn't have a house shirt, but I do have YouTube socks on. There's a building across the street. It has a Trump Pence sign in the window. Sad. Sad. Okay, we've reached a certain like 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 breaking point in the script, and which is perfect timing because we have a guest in the apartment. Matt. Hey guys. Matt, you know Matt from literally every video we've ever made. Yeah. He's Jake's brother. Look at him. Am I in the frame too? Torp Town over here. Right. <laughs> I don't know how to do something unscripted. Hey Matt, Matt, why are you here? Uh, I'm here to do a similar task. I'm here to finish uh, a little writing project of my own, and I thought I'd get sort of the vibe of sweaty, desperate typing to, uh, you know, crack the whip on my own self mentally to finish a script. Good luck. Thanks. Like, we need to move something pretty generic. Yeah, we've got to get out of here. Move now. We need to move now. The only light available is coming from the sunroof above their heads, the sky now emitting an eerie glow through tempestuous clouds. I love it, I love it. As they descend the stairs... With the whipping and dripping, whipping and dripping... Tentacles. Did we get it? We got it. Did we get it? What's the page count? 122 pages. 122, baby. We did it. Woo! We did it. One, two, two. Oh. We did it. <laughs> okay, did you have this queued up? So final thoughts, um, this is a good way to write a screenplay. And uh, not, not to write a good screenplay, but to write a screenplay. I do have to say, I don't think we wrote a horrific screenplay. We wrote a screenplay that needs work. If you want to attempt this, go in with um, a pretty good structure in the first place. Oh yeah. Outline ahead of time. Also, don't do it alone. Uh, you need like two people to like... For two reasons, you need to bounce ideas off of somebody else. Watching somebody else also working on the same thing as you keeps you from slacking off too. Right. If you you're don't... by yourself, you just can go, I quit today. No like, one I'm cares. So but you don't want to let the other person down. Yeah. And so uh, it's like, you're, you're like, it's a pact. Yes. It's like we're each gonna like live up to our end of it. Third rule. Tell people beforehand that you're gonna do this and then make a vlog about it. So that it'd be really embarrassing put it, if you don't finish it. Put it on social days. media, yeah. because that way people will like make, <laughs> they will grill you to make sure you finished. Exactly. And uh, so yeah, basically you, you've gotta be Babe Ruth and like point to the stands. You gotta point call your stands. shot. Exactly. And say, we're gonna do it. 
and then just let the potential embarrassment of failing and the fear that results be your motivation. There's no better motivational fuel than potential embarrassment. Never. So, we did it.